live here with artist extraordinaire Jen Cushman. And Jen, you have brought what uh, I think is called a slide bracelet. Is that right? Yeah, it's a slide bracelet. They're super fashionable. Everywhere you turn, people are doing these bracelets with these charms. Super easy to make, like really fun. And I've heard that the slide, the reason it's called a slide bracelet is because it adjusts to any size wrist. It does. So tiny or large or whatever you need, it's like, you know what, you can get a bangle to fit you. And I know, and I'm looking at this and I can see there's the slide mechanism right there covered mm -hmm. with all these charms. So where do we get started? So you have got to start with a piece of wire, right? About 12 inches of wire. You want to take your snips. You want to cut that off the roll for an average bracelet, it's about seven to eight inches. So that's why you need to give yourself extra room in order to make that slide mechanism, right? So you wanna cut that off. And then the next thing you wanna do is you wanna take a bracelet mandrel and you wanna take it on top of here and you want to form it to give you that nice round bangle shape, right? So you're gonna form it over the bracelet mandrel and you want to make sure I was gonna say, if you crosses. didn't have a specific bracelet mandrel, you could always use a block of wood, mm -hmm. you could use uh, a jig of some kind. Yeah, yeah. These jigs, they, you know, they've got jigs here that take all the work out of it for you. So, you know, it depends on your level of craftiness. Cool. So put it over the bracelet mandrel and you'll want to form that over there, kind of hold the ends and then you just wanna take your hand Hammer, and you want to tap it in here, that work hardens your metal so that way you keep the shape of your bangle when you remove it. Well, the right? other thing besides work hardening, which I think is so cool, is that it gives it this wonderful hammered finish. Exactly, and I forgot to say that, so let me go back. After you cut that, if you want to give it that hand hammered look, you will actually take it on the bench block and you'll actually hammer it first. Okay? With the back of your hammer, with the by back the way. of your hammer, with the ball peen part of the hammer, and then that's yeah. going to give it that beautiful handmade finish, okay? Then you wanna put it over the bracelet mandrel. Okay. Okay, so now we've got it. So now to make the slide, what you want to do is you wanna take either end and you want to just bend it with about a 90 degree bend up. Down, oh, no, up. up. Oh. So you need one side to go up. Okay. And you need the other side to go down. So they're sort of going towards each other almost is a way yes. to think about it. It's almost like you're creating a square or a box. Exactly. Or See like how that? that it's got a little box square. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like your arms going like this. Yeah. Right? <laughs> now we're dancing. <laughs> exactly. I like it. So there we go. So now that you've got those ends going like that, yeah. what you want to do is you just want to take it and you just want to. And you've take. actually changed pliers, I noticed. You were I using did. flat nose and now you're using round nose. Yeah. So whenever you're making jewelry, you want to use your looping pliers to make loops, right? You do not want to use looping flat pliers to looping. make loops. I know. Flat nose pliers. Trying to make a loop will not give you a very pretty loop. Okay. So make sure you switch to your round nose pliers and you make a loop. Put it about halfway here, a little bit more like that. And then you want to make the loop and you just want to turn it. And you're creating it right from the end there. So, and right from the end and I'm turning it down, right? Cool. So, and what I really should have done, hang on a second. You want to take it and you actually want to attach it, right? Ah. And then you want to turn Finish that loop. that loop off. Right? So now, now it's trapped in there. So now it's trapped, okay? So you can take these and then what you're going to do is you're going to do, do the, the other, other end. side the same way okay. with it trapped inside. And then I see that you have one mm -hmm. that's already done. Exactly. So that gives you your slide. And of course, you can put it on adjustable, right? Fits any wrist. Um, great thing about making them is you can make it to size. <laughs> So now what you want to do is you want to come over and you want to do your charms. So there is a, we've got this great little metal charm and I like to add, um, personalize my things. Mm -hmm. So of course the metal stamping is the personalization for that. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this and I'm just going to stamp. You, of course, are working on top of a bench block or something like that, a yep. hard metal surface, so that you're really going to get an impression. And if you have a bouncy table like we mm -hmm. do, you probably want to work, I believe, over the leg of the table. Absolutely. You definitely need to have it home. In my studio, I have a nice oak table, and then that way I've got all of that security there. But you need to have a steel bench block for sure or an anvil, right? So you want to go ahead and put this down next to it. It's real important that you keep your hand steady mm -hmm. and you keep that... Um, 
alphabet stamp, really nice and steady so you get that impression. I was going to say it's really important to keep your hands out of the way, which is something I might have trouble with. Exactly. But yeah. So you're going to stamp once and then you're going to stamp again. The great thing about um, uh, stamps that I love that they have the letter down there. Mm -hmm. So then that way you know that you are stamping correctly because yeah, I, don't know right if you've, direction. I don't know if you've ever metal stamped before where you have gone backwards, sideways, wonky. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that can be a problem. Okay. So now the cool thing, you've got this, but the um, it's not showing up too much in there. So now what you can do is just come back with your little marker yeah, in kind. there, and then you just go ahead and fill that in. Take your little kitchen scrubby, and oh you scrub I off. I thought you were going to have to use ink or paint or something. Seriously, you're taking a marker and just, just taking a scrubby, scrubby marker that and I'm just genius. taking and taking it right off. So, okay. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're just going to go ahead and make your charm dangles, right? So, um, this one is to make a wire. You've got to well, have a stopper. Well, you're making the paddle, right? Right. That's on there. Yeah. So, I'm making the paddle. So, what I want to do is I just want to cut a piece of wire and I want to have the end of it. And I've already made this paddle, but I want to show you how you do it. You put it down and then what you do is you just hammer out the very bottom of it again with the ball peen part right and then it creates a paddle or a spoon shape and that little spoon shape is what is going to stop it so when you put your beads on they don't go right. sliding and you down. can buy head pins like this in the store I've seen them but it seems like it's so easy just to make them you know the great thing about using wire is that you can really save your money for tools and some of the other things so I really like to have the hand of the artist in my work right so now what I do is I just put that in there grab my looping pliers because you got to loop with your looping <laughs> pliers right and then I'm going to go ahead and bend now I you know I don't bend like jewelry people like mm -hmm. I don't do it right I don't do it correctly I just bend it over and then I just take it and make an awesome messy loop and, and you know I... what there isn't a right it's if it works and it stays on and you like the look of it then that's the only thing that matters absolutely and I'm like you know what organic remember that's my yes. word for everything everything is organic and messy a friend of mine said that my work is messy but cool and I'm like I think that's true so I let's guess. take a look back at the finished piece okay and I can see that you have simply put those loops right onto the exposed edge of the slide with the charm right in the middle I assume this is a gift for mom it is a gift for mom although I am a mom so I might have made it for myself but <laughs> Fair enough, absolutely. So I hope that you are going to make a gift for yourself or for mom, whatever it is. Thanks so much, Jen.